One of my favourite random bits of Dance of the Dragons lore is how Alison Hightower was effectively the carer for the ailing King Jaehaerys Targaryen during the last few months of his life. The 15-year-old Alison would feed the king his meals, help him dress, and most importantly, read to him for long hours at a time. In fact, Alison was reading to the old king when he died peacefully in 103 AC. When you first read Fire and Blood, the inclusion of this information seems very strange at first, and it's not until later in the story you realise the significance of Alison's position during this time. Of all the ladies at court during this era, why was the young Alison given this surely undesirable role of caring for a dying old man, be him a king or not? Otto Hightower was the hand of the king for Jaehaerys during the last years of his life, after the death of Prince Balon. With Jaehaerys bedridden and slowly losing his mental faculties towards the end of his life, Otto being his hand meant he was de facto ruling the Seven Kingdoms in Jaehaerys' name. So given all the ladies at court, why was Alison chosen for this job? Well, because her father placed her in this role. And if we know anything about Otto Hightower, he does everything for a reason. Already at this time, using Alison as a political tool and moving her in place within court to allow for his future scheming. I've said it many times before in videos like this. Adaptations can never be a one-to-one -one replica of the source material. And a lot of changes that get made are done because it's not possible to adapt it to screen for numerous reasons. However, changes are also made for creative choices as well. And in the case of aging up and aging down characters in House of the Dragon, it appears to be a bit of both, necessity and creativity. In the case of this video, I want to talk about the ages of both Rhaenyra and Alicent. With a focus on Alicent, they were adjusted to bring them closer in age than the 10 year age gap they have in Fire and Blood, with Rhaenyra being aged up and Alicent down a bit, making Rhaenyra around 15 years of age and Alicent may be about 17 in episode 1 of House of the Dragon. Changing Alicent's age in such a way impacts her backstory in more ways than you might think. Given we know that in the show's timeline, the Great Council of 101 still takes place in 101 AC, and the show starts in 112 AC with Alicent around 17, it would mean Alicent would have been roughly 8 years old when she came to court, rather than 13 as in the books. And that then means in the show, she would be about 10 or 11 when she would have been given the job as a carer for King Jaehaerys. Given her young age here, I think it's safe to say and reasonable to assume that in the show's timeline, Alicent wasn't the carer for King Jaehaerys. She never most likely spent any time with him, let alone read to him. But this resulted in maybe one of my favourite minor changes the show made. It does not impact the story too much, but it's a nice little callback for people who read the book. In Fire and Blood, we don't really know the details of how Viserys and Alicent's relationship starts and develops, but it is very heavily implied that Otto is involved in some way. On the show, Otto's scheming and positioning of Alicent in view of the grieving King Viserys in his time of need, Alicent giving him companionship and care. But it's not only that, it's the fact that Alicent reads to Viserys. Not only reads, but reads from the exact book she would have read from to King Jaehaerys, set in Bath's unnatural history. I loved how they used elements of Alicent caring for Jaehaerys and repurposed them into a way to show her forming a relationship with Viserys. They almost completely repurposed the whole caring for Jaehaerys element of her backstory with Viserys, just the circumstances were very different. Plus, with this, you also still have Otto pulling all the strings, giving the viewer an insight into the kind of man he is. The changing of Alison's age makes her near the same age as Rhaenyra, who is also aged up, which I also think worked out really well. Rather than simply using the evil stepmother trope that would have come as a result of the books, redefining their relationship as close childhood friends will make events that transpire over the series hit that much harder and be that much more personal. But aging the characters in such a way and having to change their backstories like this does have its downsides. In the books, Viserys is 29 when he marries a 19-year-old Alicent. In terms of the age gap, that's not too awful. In the show, where it's not 100% clear how old Viserys is, it's much, much older than 29. And it adds a much more unsavoury aspect to their relationship. Albeit, it portrays a realistic side of it. Given that in both real-world medieval society and in the world of Ice and Fire, Girls much younger than Alicent were married to men far older than them on a regular basis. The bigger age gap here very much changes the tone of their relationship. I love the concept of Alicent being a carer for the dying Jaehaerys. And while it's sad that given the timeline changes, this likely is not the case in the show's timeline, I love how they reused a lot of the elements of it, such as the book reading, to help build the relationship between Alicent and Viserys. This may be a small change, 
but it goes to show that if done well, changes don't have to be a bad thing, but as fans of Game of Thrones know too well. Not all changes are good or handled so well, and for the most part thus far with House of the Dragon, I think most of them have worked out reasonably well. I have a few that make me scratch my head a little bit and are a little bit concerning. But on the whole, I wasn't too bothered by what was done, even if the show's timeline is a complete and utter mess. So what I want to know is what small or minor changes that were made in House of the Dragon did you enjoy and what ones not so much?